Japan is lifting its nationwide state of emergency as the number of daily coronavirus cases there keeps dropping. The country has reported just 830 deaths hundreds of miles away. Taiwan has had remarkable success in its response to the pandemic. It is reported only, listen to this number, seven deaths. Holly Williams reports how they did that. On the island of Taiwan, the streets are bustling. Restaurants are open for diners. Schools only shut down for two weeks in February. And even the baseball season is in full swing. Though one team temporarily relied on mannequin spectators. With a population of nearly 24 million, Taiwan's had just seven deaths and with rapid contact tracing fewer than 500 infections. And that's despite lying around 80 miles from mainland China. We have been planning for any kind of pandemic that may affect Taiwan. And the reason is because back in 2003, Taiwan was hit very hard by SARS. So let me get this straight. You had been planning for a pandemic for 17 years? Yes, and it will not stop. They already had a command center ready to activate and generous stockpiles of protective gear. And Taiwanese companies invested in high-tech solutions like these robot testing machines. Crucially, the government started warning the public of how serious the new virus was back in January. The health minister even broke down in tears as he announced a new infection. It appears like we were caught sort of with our pants down. Professor Robert Brook is an American public health expert who studied Taiwan's response. They knew everything they had, so they didn't have to scramble. They knew how many hospital beds, how many ventilators, where the, where the equipment like gloves and masks were, how many they had. They were prepared. They had stockpiles. They were ready to, as I would say, rock and roll. Taiwan's universal health care system keeps records on every resident, marrying that with immigration data made tracing infections much easier. I tend to believe that um, we need to share a lot more data uh, to prevent ourselves from having catastrophic results when something attacks us like a virus. Some have argued that Asian governments have had it easy because people there are supposedly more obedient. Taiwanese people are more obedient than people no. in the West? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Taiwanese democracy and Taiwan's opposition uh, is also very critical of the government. But when it comes to public health, when the uh, command center has educated people enough, they understand what is the best for them. For CBS This Morning, Holly Williams. Planning paying off in Taiwan.